I'm originally from Michigan, but we moved here from the West Coast where we were living. Uh, the West Coast is very different than the East Coast in terms of coffee, and being very vested in the coffee industry, we, we had a lot of thoughts about that. Uh, there's much more of an interest in specialty coffee in the West Coast. I would say specialty coffee, what we really mean are more expensive coffees that have more of a story. We understand more about where they came from. What that also means is that the coffee producer for specialty coffee was paid a better price for the coffee. So throughout South and Central America, where these coffees are being grown, that has a huge impact on people's lives, uh, which is important to us. Uh, but also, uh, we find that uh, specialty coffee is carefully handled. that Miami was in sort of a renaissance in food and beverage and art and, and many other areas, but we didn't see sort of a specialty coffee component, which is our area, it's what we do. And we were right at the beginnings of thinking that we wanted to open our own business. So it was for that reason that we moved to Miami. Uh, fast forward about a year and a half, we had everything that we owned in a truck, drove for five days, to about 400 degrees Fahrenheit before we roast. We drop the coffee into the top. Coffee goes down into the roasting chamber and for about 15 minutes, we roast the coffee. We look at the coffee with this piece. When it's ready, we open it here and drop it out. This is a cooling tray. And when it's all cooled off to room temperature, 